Gary here from Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for coming. And we're going to be um, candling eggs today. This will be the eighth day since we started them. We did uh, candling on day five. And the reason why we candle is to find out if the eggs are viable, fertile, whatever. And to make sure progression is going on. So any non-viable eggs or non-fertile eggs, we want to get them out of the incubator uh, before they turn rotten and stuff like that. So, since this is in the house, I don't want rotten eggs in the house, and especially my wife does not want <laughs> uh, rotten eggs in the house. So, we're going to candle these. So, let's do this. I'm going to wash my hands first. Never touch eggs with dirty hands. Always sanitize your hands first because you can pass bacteria and pathogens that are on your hands through the porous eggshells to the developing embryo and it could kill them. So, safety first. Let's candle the chicken eggs. I'll put my flashlight on, hold it in my hand like that and put the egg up there. And then we're going to turn the egg. You can see the air pocket up there. See, it is still no development on that egg because it might be too early. So we're going to go ahead and put this egg back. We're going to do this chicken egg. It's got a nice uh, a nice um, air pocket up there. That's what you want. And I see some density going on on the side of the egg here. So it looks like this one's viable. Okay, I see some development in there. Okay, let's go look at some duck eggs. Oh, look at that. This is that duck egg we looked at earlier. Look at the amount of uh, blood vessels that have formed there. You see that? And it's developing even more because the the white, the yolk, or the uh, albumin is uh, down here and the yolk is up here and the developing chick is right up in here. So look at that. All developing into a nice that looks really good. So we know this egg is viable. And you want to handle the eggs very carefully and not jar them too much because you can damage the, the uh, embryo inside. Now this one, look at that. There's a blood spot right there. That's interesting. This one, we're going to call it viable. Look at that. That is a nice uh, air pocket up there. We're going to call this one viable. Let's look at one more duck egg. I 
Looks like this one's got development going on. I can see the blood spot, uh, veins forming right there. And it's got a nice little air pocket in the top. Carefully put the eggs back. So there we candled eggs on the eighth day and we'll check back again in another seven days and every seven days we'll candle them and see the progression and see if there's any duds we have to throw out. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for clicking. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you will. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.